Hello, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Weight loss has really become an obsession. And, you know, to some degree, that's not necessarily bad. Gaining weight, being obese, and significantly overweight is more than just a cosmetic issue. Being overweight or obese uh, actually is part of what we call metabolic syndrome, and as such, represents a significant threat to health. Now, so many people have tried various weight loss programs, uh, engaged in very vigorous exercise, and really come up empty-handed, indicating that they just cannot lose weight. And it may very well be that targeting uric acid turns out to be a powerful key in the whole weight loss puzzle. So let's take a look at some science. So let's have a look at this study, which is entitled Prevalence of Hyperuricemia, or Elevated uric acid, and the relationship between serum uric acid and obesity, a study on Bangladeshi adults. This was what we call a cross-sectional study, looked at 260 adults, about half and half, male to female, and at the same time they measured these parameters, BMI uh, and body weight. They also looked at the uric acid level to try to determine what the relationship might be. And I would like to let you know that the classification of obesity, uh, underweight, overweight, normal weight, etc., is different when you look at how we typically uh, look at the numbers versus what is done in Asia. And let's just review that for a moment. Uh, obesity, by looking at BMI in the Asian standard, is at a little bit lower level, at 28, as opposed to uh, being more generous here uh, in America, for example, at 30. And at the same time, if you look at the underweight, uh, that you, you're not really underweight unless in Asia you have a BMI at uh, less than 17.5. You're underweight uh, in Western countries when your BMI is under 18.5. So uh, keep that in mind when you, it's not a huge issue, but it's just something to think about uh, when you're doing some critical review. And here's uh, what the study looked at. Again, looking on the bottom um, at the quartiles of uric acid level, going from lowest to highest, and then the prevalence of obesity in looking at this population. Here's what they found. That looks pretty linear to me, that the highest quartile of uric acid is associated with the highest prevalence of obesity in this population. Now, this is a correlation. Uh, it doesn't necessarily demonstrate causation. This shows that there's a correlation here, actually a strong correlation, of uric acid to higher levels of BMI. That's what the study revealed. But the point is that it's at least important because we should consider hyperuricemia or elevation of uric acid in looking at overweight and obese individuals. Because of this correlation, we should at least look at their uric acid levels. And then the question becomes, well, why? What, why is this happening? If, in fact, there's some causality related here, what else is going on with uric acid that might give us a clue? Uh, as revealed in this paper, their quote, recent studies have shown that hyperuricemia, meaning elevated uric acid, is commonly associated with dyslipidemia, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and metabolic syndrome. And we know that metabolic syndrome, several components of metabolic syndrome, really do show mechanistic connection to increased uh, body weight. Things like insulin resistance, uh, elevated blood glucose, do tend to run uh, with uh, the creation and storage of body fat. So we need to think about how we make uric acid. Where does it come from? Uric acid is coming from uh, how our body deals with fructose, this added sugar. We know that uh, 60 to 70 percent of the processed foods on our grocery store shelves now have added sweetener, and by and large, that is fructose derived from high fructose corn syrup, as well as how we handle the metabolism of alcohol. ATP is consumed, AMP is produced, and uric acid is the end product. We also know that we contribute to our production of uric acid when we metabolize purines, which are the breakdown products of DNA and RNA, high purines in certain foods like sardines and anchovies, uh, as well as organ meats. These also contribute to the uric acid pool, the production of uric acid. Humans and other primates lack 
uh, the ability to break down uric acid. That was a survival mechanism that we, our ancestors developed millions and millions of years ago to allow us to store body fat so that we could survive during times of caloric scarcity. Think about it. So many people have struggled with weight loss, and it may very well be that finally weight loss can be achieved when you target uric acid. Elevation of uric acid, as you've just seen, is absolutely related to weight gain and obesity. And lowering your uric acid may well be your key to finally losing weight. We talk about all of this in my new book, Drop Acid, The Secret Key to Losing Weight, Controlling Blood Sugar, and Achieving Extraordinary Health, coming out February 15th, 2022. Here is the URL. Not only will we learn about diet, but certainly uh, other inputs to help uh, bring uric acid under control, things like vitamin C, like quercetin, the role of exercise, even sleep, how these factors all play in to our ultimate uric acid level.